Hi there. My name is Victor. Um, I'm from Denmark, and I wanted to talk about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, just, and I wanted to talk about one subject right now, and that is stress. Stress in the Jehovah's Witness organization. <clears throat> I've grown up as a Jehovah's Witness, and I have three siblings, and one sibling who isn't in the organization, and I have two who is baptized. My one sibling who isn't in the organization wasn't baptized, neither was I. I left just a couple of months ago. Like, officially I left a couple of months ago. Um, one subject I wanted to talk about today was um, stress <clears throat> in the organization. Um, also for kids and for adults, how much it actually causes mentally depression and stuff like that. Um, when I was younger, like when I grew up as Jehovah's Witness, I didn't want to. And I also think a lot of others probably didn't want to either. Um, but I did. Like, you, you had to. Um, when I grew up, we, uh, we read the Bible's book with the pictures and stuff like that for, for children. Um, I actually liked that. That was actually pretty funny. Or <laughs> not funny. It was, it was just nice, cozy with my parents before I went to bed. And then they asked me questions and I answered them as best as I could. And they congratulated me. Go, oh, you're so good at doing this and stuff like that. Um, and that was fun. Um, <clears throat> but more, it became like a routine, but in a bad way. Not because of that, but because of a lot of other things. We had to do things constantly, if you know. Um, one thing that I especially hated was uh, field service when you had to go out preaching. Not only that, because it it was like it blocked a lot of time. It took so much time. You couldn't really do anything that day, same as Thursdays. I had meetings Thursdays. It was dreadful. When the week started, or like at a Thursday, the only thing you thought about was, I have to go to a meeting today. It's going to be horrible. Or at least for people who don't want to be in the organization. <clears throat> that this is going to be a pain. Because you have to, what's it called? You have to move your entire schedule to fit into it. Your homework. You, you have to like be mentally prepared that you have to dress up nicely, you have to go to the meeting, you have to prepare for the meeting, you have to listen to talks that are excruciating boring, like so incredibly boring for most people. Or some probably found it entertaining or they learned from it, I guess. But not for me and not for a lot of other people. Um, what I found interesting when um, when I grew up was that a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses children were sick like really really sick uh, pretty often except my cousin <laughs> he was never sick never I haven't seen seen him sick once he's about my age um, and they were sick always on Thursdays same as me just so we could get an off day, you know, because you're not supposed to get an off day when you're Jehovah's Witness. Um, both me, my older brother, and um, and my older sister, they skipped Thursdays often, rarely sometimes Sundays, and very often Saturdays to not preach, even though they wanted to. But it's just so much work to do, and your other work and school. Um, and it's it's a repeating pattern. My my nephew and niece, who is eleven and nine, they are repeating the same pattern. They are sick constantly, like always, um, especially on Thursdays, 
And not only that, but my oldest sister, who is also like very devoted to the, not the truth, because it's only obviously not the truth, it's just a habit. Um, they're so devoted to the organization that they, they just want to, but they can't physically. It's it's so obvious, it's so obvious that they can't. Um, and, and it's almost painful, like... Please just take an off day. Don't you don't have to act sick. Please just take an off day. It's completely fine, in my opinion, of course, but not to the Watchtower, as they have stated multiple times in their literature. That have you feel tired about going to meetings? Maybe you should do anyway, and you feel amazing. Oh yeah, no, of course not. <laughs> Some people, yeah, it may feel good, but for most people, it's just. Why did I do it? Why did just, just just why didn't I just stay home to like get my energy back, just to like relax, sleep, just having fun, just doing normal stuff? Um, it's it's brainwashing from a young age, and it it's going to affect you mentally. Like my mom even had depression a few years ago. My dad, uh, I just found out that like a two years ago or something that um, he was apparently an alcoholic and I didn't even know and he quit a few years ago so that's that's nice but I feel like that's pretty often you see that like you, you need something to like relief because it causes so much stress also for children like um, I'm just going to read up some stuff I posted on reddit like you have to go to school Waking up early, tons of homework, family study, watchtower study, going to meetings, preparing for that or for those meetings, doing service, preparing for service, giving talks, worrying not to sin, Jehovah always watches you, Jehovah knows what you think, even the, um, what is it, the daily texts, oh man, I used to hate those. Um... It's so much, like, e even just for a normal kid, just going to school and balancing out bet between friends and stuff. That That's a lot of work. Like, that's a lot of work. And then you just add a bunch of other stuff. It's, it's not something kids should be doing. They should be enjoying these years of childhood. Like, they should be happy. Instead, you are giving them a like a taste of what it's like to be an adult, but in a bad way. Because you're giving them stress. Like even my, my niece, who's nine, she got diagnosed with stress when she was, what, eight, I, th I think? Like, what? How is that even possible? E even though they're like, oh, we, we love service, yeah, let's do it. They just cancel it the next day it's so obvious that they're lying they just they just say it to please their parents or please their grandparents or people in the congregation and of course they, they don't know any better because they they're not really allowed to research it because that's apostasy um, and also for people especially like me I'm I have a sickness I have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome so, also doing a lot of stuff affects me as well, when I was in. Um, because I was extremely tired all the time. Like, really, really tired all the time. And my joints were hurting, my back especially was hurting, my kneecaps, my knees, my ankles. I couldn't really walk that much when you had to preach. I could maybe walk, like, 20 minutes. And then it would just, it would be so painful. Incredible. Um, then I just, in, in 2014, when I was 14, 15, I started to wake up. I could maybe do another, vid uh, another video, if you want that, about how I woke up. It's also pretty fun. Um, but it's just the stress, this organization, not, not only Jehovah's Witnesses, but also like the, the Mormons, Scientology, I don't know, all of the other religions. It's so much stress and you have to like work, work around 
everything based on that religion because you are an outcast pretty much not only that you miss school a lot because you, you're sick you miss meetings a lot so you're sick there so they judge you there like oh he's sick a lot maybe he needs to pray more oh well, that, like that's gonna help yeah um, it's really painful to experience it's not something kids should go through it's it's mentally painful it's almost torture <laughs> i would say so um and that's just in a mild way um my mom even like even though she loves this organization and this religion you hear often how they talk about oh I have to wake up early in the morning. Oh, I have to preach this because I'm a pioneer. Oh, like they complain a lot. But when you ask them, do you love doing this? And yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. But you're not enjoying it. Oh, yeah, I am. I am. Then the next day, oh, I have to do preaching. Like, oh, I'm so happy she canceled because I'm so tired. Like, really? Do you really love it then? It's really weird. It's like there's a, a cloud raining on them and they say it's sunshine. It's, it's like that, I would say so. <laughs> um, this was just a, a, a video to vent out for me, pretty much. I don't really have anyone to talk to. Well, yeah, I do. I have my friend. I talk to him a lot about Jehovah's Witnesses. It's, it's nice to, to just get your words out, out of your chest, because as a Jehovah's Witness, you're not really allowed to have that many friends outside the organization so just to talk to someone talk to view viewers of this video it's it's really nice I, it's nice to get that off of your chest so i would recommend it but um subscribe if you want to probably make some more videos about other subjects um this stress really related thing i think it's pretty obvious it's something religions do to like say you, like we are the solution that we can cure your stress if you just pray more if you, if you just go to meetings more if you just preach more going to field service more but it's really not it's the exact opposite you you really want a break from it but you can't <laughs> Because then you're going to get judged and you have to pray more and you have to preach more. It's like a circle. It's just, oh, it's painful. But um, subscribe. And my name is Victor Sergier. And thanks for watching.